guys so I am back from New York as you can probably tell because I am in my room but I hope you guys have enjoyed like my New York vlog which I hopefully have posted before this but I, I don't really know and things like that I'm gonna be doing like a nail tutorial based off of the Rebecca Minkoff nails and also an experience video just because I think that'd be kind of fun along with like the slide or like the clips that I got from the show um and that's my ideas but I did do some shopping when I was in New York and naturally you guys requested for me to do a New York haul and so I figured hey what's the harm might as well do it and I didn't like buy too much but I figured hey haul is a haul might as well show you guys because it's kind of fun because I didn't do a New York or a Los Angeles one I'm doing a New York one right now <laughs> So I'm going to just go ahead and get started. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know in the comments below. Um, other than that, definitely thumbs up this video if you like this video, just because that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so the first place I went was Necessary Clothing on Friday, just because this is like one of my favorite stores in New York, because we don't have it in Kentucky, obviously. And it's based out of Soho, and they have a bunch of stuff that you can find in like most online boutiques and stuff. And it's all pretty affordable, which I was super excited about. So I was there and I couldn't resist buying another pair of leggings because these actually looked really like decently thick and they were only $12. So I was like, hey, why not? And they're fleece lined. So can you get any better than that? No. And then I picked up this dress, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I saw it on their website because they have a website, NecessaryClothing.com. And I've been eyeing it. I was like, I don't know if I'd wear it that much, but it was only $22.99. And when I tried it on, I like fell in love with it because I wasn't really sure how it would look um, on, but it looks really, really cute and definitely worth $22. It's going to be so much fun for like the springtime and the summer. It's this really pretty mint green and it's one of those off the shoulder dresses. Um, it just like comes up here and then you put your hand or arms through this hole and it just it's like off the shoulder I don't really know it reminds me of a princess so naturally I had to have it right princess problems I'm not sure what I got from necessary clothing next place I stopped was Extaza New York which is on 491 Broadway um, once again also in Soho and they carry the exact same things pretty much as um, the other stores there which is like mystique boutique and then necessary clothing but they have like different colors and stuff so what else? The only thing I got from there was this top, which I actually saw a few weeks ago online. And once again, I didn't even realize that they're, it's the exact same color as the dress that I just got. But it has a heart-shaped cutout in the back. Just good for, like, going out and stuff like that in the summertime. It was $20, and it's pretty. And then I also stopped at the Forever 21 in Times Square because it was not closed like most of the stores on Friday night. And so I picked up this top. This is crazy. This is like an exact dupe for the J. Crew Blythe blouse, but um, significantly cheaper. This was $20, and I got it in a size extra small because I wanted to be able to wear this underneath sweaters and not be super bulky. And it just has like the pockets on the front. It literally looks and feels just like all those other blouses that I have that are like yellow, neon, pink, and purple, I think is the other one. But I just love it, and it's like a really pretty green. I love this color green, especially on brunettes. I think it looks really pretty. I'm buying a lot of green on this trip, and I didn't even realize it. And then I also got this blouse, because <laughs> I really like blouses, as you can see, or Oxfords. And this one was $17.80, and it's just like this peach color. Um, I got it to wear layered underneath another shirt that I got, which I will be showing you. So, really pretty, and that's all I got from Forever 21. Then I also went to Sea Wonder, which is actually owned by Tory Burch's like ex-husband or something like that. Cutest store ever. Absolutely loved it. And I got this blouse that like all the employees were wearing just because I thought it looked so cute. And just warning, the extra small is still pretty large on me. So if you are smaller than me, you probably wouldn't want to buy this blouse because it is pretty expensive. They do do a 10% discount on for students who show their IDs. So this is, I ended up getting for like $60, but it's so unique. It's like a light blue button up, but the collar you leave popped and it shows this silk material and it's just so cool and I loved the way it looked and I just can see myself wearing this um, with my collar popped in like a pearl necklace and like white 
pants in the summer, springtime. I don't know. I think that'd be cute. So, that's fun. And then also I went to the bookmark store real quick because I wanted to pick up those cute pens that I showed you guys in my last New York haul, which was last April, so like almost two years ago, back when I was in high school. So they gave me a cute little bag again, and I was really happy because they're adorable. So I picked up two of the lipstick pens just because I think they're the coolest pens ever, and I don't know, I just think they're fun. So they say Marc Jacobs on them, and these were $3.50 each, so... Kind of expensive, but adorable, cute little souvenirs. And then lastly, I went to Ricky's on the last day, which is like a little beauty supply, kind of like a Sally's beauty supply kind of place. Um, it's kind of fun. There's kind of interesting things there, but they had the new like stack or they had the new collection, the Mariah Carey collection OPI nail polishes out, and I saw this one swatched, and I was just like, ooh, I don't have a color like that. So I like obviously had to pick it up, right? And this one's called a butterfly moment. Which I don't even like butterflies, but whatever. It's just like a nudish pink color. I don't know, it's pretty cool. So, pick that up. And then I got a few things in the mail a little bit before I left, and then after I got home. So I wanted to show you guys those things. The first thing I got was from Bobble Bar, another necklace. Obviously, I had to buy something because I'm obsessed with Bobble Bar. And I will link my invite code in the down bar, as well as just like the regular website if you don't want to use it but it's just this pave necklace and I just think it's so stunning and I wanted kind of like a new statement necklace that was pave sparkly and stuff just because I don't have one like this and this one was perfect it was part of their anniversary collection and I just think it's very eye-catching and not too over the top if you know what I mean so this was a definite must-have in my book so I quick I quickly I picked that up. Then also if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram or Pinterest, you know that I had to pick up this spirit jersey and my sorority actually got the spirit jerseys for Kappa Delta and they're really really cute but I can't show it to you because it has like my chapter name on it. But I picked one up because they're so comfortable to wear to school just because in the winter time I don't really give a lot of effort into my clothes all the time when I go to school especially if it's like a long day of classes aka Tuesdays for me and it had an elephant on the front and elephants are just my favorite thing ever so I had to get them mooses or moose and elephants is where it's at people but I don't know it says roll tide on the back I know nothing about sports so I'm really just a poser and lastly I got a new frat collection which if you follow me on Twitter, I talked about how they were having 30% off with their Valentine's Day promo code. So these shirts, the long sleeve ones, which are normally $40, were marked down to $25. And so obviously I had to get one just because I wear mine all the time. And I got it in like this cream color, which matched my boot socks. I'm really nerdy like that. And then I just kind of got like this goldish um, chevron, which I'm not really as thrilled with this color as I thought I was going to be. I kind of wish I would have got like a taupe or something, but... I'm still going to wear it. I wore it the other day and I still love it. So, yes. So that was my quick little um, New York City haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments below. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.